answer this problem right here. The question is asking uh, find the column space, row space of null space of A. So first of all, to do this one, I have to do the Gauss Jordan. Uh, let's bring this matrix here. So it's one zero minus two, two one three, three one one. And I'm going to do the Gauss Jordan for this one. So I have to make all the values below and above the pivot to zero. So in this case, therefore, I have to change this one to zero. To do that, I, I can multiply the first equation by negative 2 and add it to the second equation. So 1, 0, minus 2. And if I multiply the first equation by negative 2, it's going to be negative 2 r1 plus r2, which will give us 0 right here. And this is going to be negative, it's going to be 0, 0 plus 1 is going to be 1. Then negative 2 times negative 2 is plus 4, plus 4 plus 3 is going to be 7. And I can also do the third row right here so it's going to be minus 3 to eliminate this one I can multiply this one by minus 3 r1 plus r2 and r3 plus r3 which will give us 0 here and if we multiply this one 0 0 plus 1 is going to be 1 then minus 3 times minus 2 is going to be plus 6 plus 6 plus 1 is going to be 7 and this is the thing we've got if you see second row and third row are same so we can eliminate, eliminate one of them so if I eliminate this will become 1 0 minus 2 and 0 1 7 to eliminate this one I can multiply the second equation by negative and add it to the third equation so it's going to be negative r2 plus r3 which will give us 0 0 0 so from this one I can solve these questions the first question is asking uh, find the column space column space is basically the columns with the pivots so if you see first column has pivots second column has, has pivot third column doesn't have pivot so these these are the two columns that's going to be in the column space so we can write therefore column a is equal to span of these two these two columns so first column is one two three and the second column is zero one one you can write it as vertically or horizontally doesn't matter and that's it so these are the two columns that's in the column space and the second question is what is the row space row space is the rows with the leading coefficient so first row has leading coefficient second row has leading coefficient third row has nothing so we have to write the first two to first two rows to answer this question so row space a, a is equal to span of 1 0 minus 2 comma 2 1 3 and this is the answer for this one and the next question is asking find the null space of A to find the null space I have to set this one equal to 0 so null space is basically AX is equal to 0 so I can bring the ghost Jordan pattern so this this one is going to be 1 0 minus 2 0 1 7 0 0 0 equal to 0 0 0 and this is our free variable because these two has leading coefficient this column doesn't have leading coefficient then this is going to be free variable let's call this column z because x y z i'm taking as x y z so z is free variable free variables therefore we have to answer everything in terms of z because we have to answer everything in terms of free variable so let's create the equations for this one x minus 2z is equal to 0 then the second uh, from this one i can solve for x x is going to be equal to 2z and from the second equation I can find the y, y plus 7z is equal to 0 therefore y is equal to minus 7z so now I can answer this question if we arrange uh, this one this ar arrange this one this is going to be x is going to be 2z y is going to be minus 7z z is going to be z itself because for free variable is going to be itself then if I take uh, z common this will become 2 minus 7 1 therefore we can write this one as a null space of a span of when we write the span we shouldn't write this z because c can c mean it can be any real number so we shouldn't use that because we want the basic format of this one so it's going to be 2 minus 7 1 so span of 2 minus 7 one. so that's the answer for the null space A 
and the second B part is asking determine if uh, minus 4, 6, 2 is in the column space A. So to answer this question what you have to do is we have to set an equation for example we have to pick up the columns right here we found out already. So if I am doing the B part so 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 1 and I have to create a matrix form. So this is equal to this uh, the one minus 4, 6, 2 and if I solve using cos order and if I find an answer that means it's in the in, in this column so let's see if I can find an answer so minus 4 6 2 so if I do the cos order uh, to eliminate this one I have to multiply the first one by negative 2 and add it to the second one so if I do that I will get so minus 2 R1 plus R2 which will give us 0 right here then minus 2 times 0 is going to be 0, 0 plus 1 is going to be 1 and then uh, minus 2 times 4 is going to be minus plus 8, plus 8 plus 6 is going to be 40. The last one I can do same thing like I can multiply the first equation by minus 3 r1 minus 3 so it's going to be minus 3 r1 and add it to the third equation it's going to be r3 and if we do that I will eliminate this one so it will become 0 and this one become minus 3 times 0 is going to be 0, 0 plus 1 is going to be 1 and minus 3 times mi minus 4 is going to be plus 12, plus 12 plus 2 is going to be 40 and if you see we have second and third third row with the same uh, same numbers so we can eliminate one of them by multiplying one of them by negative and adding to the other one so let's do that 1, 0, minus 4, 0, 1, 40 and if I multiply the second equation by negative 1 it's going to be negative r2 plus r3 which will give us 0, 0 right here and the other one is going to be 0 therefore we have answer x is equal to minus 4 y is equal to 40 so since we have a solution it means uh, the minus 4, 6, 2 is in the column space of A so we can state it as therefore uh, minus 4, 6, 2 is in the column space of A <coughs> so this is the final answer for this question and that's it I hope you guys like this video see you next time